161. Running a business can be hard work. But having one in Milledgeville has made it a little easier for Sweet Treats owner Jody Kent. Yeah, we have a lot of good downtown support. The downtown sweet shop has been open for nearly two years. The college is growing a lot, which brings in a lot of out-of-town traffic. We have a lot of people from other countries come, especially during the summer and weekends. Kent's shop is part of a steady growth in business in the last five years, which is good after the recession that started in the late 2000s. Main Street does really well. They promote businesses really well here. So we do something special each month for the first Fridays. Baldwin County had a nearly 16% unemployment rate in June of 2010, with layoffs at Ream Manufacturing, Shaw Industries, TNS Hardwoods, and the Youth Development Center all contributing. Since then, however, the rate has gone back down. It's definitely recovering, and um, I see a lot of out-of-town money coming into downtown. Kent lives it every day, and Carly Schulte with Milledgeville Main Street knows all about it. Every year I do like kind of an annual report at the end of the year just to see where we stand and see what we're doing. Milledgeville aced it in 2015 with six new businesses opening and 2016 was successful as well. We've got uh, several new boutiques that have opened so they're um, women's clothing and they also have some men's clothing. Um, Sweet Treats is one you mentioned. Schulte sees a bright future for the city. So we just thought that it would be a good thing to let everyone know that things are going well and, and we're, we're progressing here in downtown Milledgeville.